W-Z-M-R-L-P, East Boston. You are listening to 94.9 Zoomit Radio, powered by you. It took about 30 years for this to happen, and I couldn't be any more grateful. I was probably about 14, 15 years old. I'm 45 now. I had the posters. I had the bed sheets. I had the pins, the uh, trading cards. I even got my hair cut like Joe McIntyre, who happened to be my crush at the time. He's only a couple years older than me. <laughs> Honestly, never thought it would happen for one reason or another. You know, they broke up for like 15, 20 years. And when they came back, it's either I was working or I didn't have the money. One of my all-time favorites inspired me so much throughout my life. I've had my fr- one of my first crushes with this band, and to be able to see them live, I cried. <laughs> I cried. Without further ado, one hour of New Kids on the Block. Let's go. First time was a great time. Second time was a blast. Third time I'm good. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time. Truly hope you're finding reasons to smile, laugh, enjoy life, appreciate everything and everyone around you. Once again, this is Zoomix Radio 94.9 FM here in Boston. You can also listen on zoomix.org, that's Z-U-M-I-X dot O-R-G. This show is Inspired by Love, where I share what inspires me to inspire you to inspire the world. And yes, this is one hour of New Kids on the Block. The homeboys out of Dorchester and Jamaica Plain. I was in high school when they came out. Well, maybe middle school into high school, so 14, 15 years old. I'm just now turning 45. My birthday was September 1st. Happy birthday to me. And as I said in the beginning, it took 30 years for me able to be able to see them live, and it was very, very last minute. And I cried. I cried when I saw their banner come down on the Green Monster at Fenway. Um, and I almost didn't last the show. I didn't even make the almost didn't make the beginning of the show. Before I get into that, though, let's just rock out. Let's enjoy the music. And just have fun with it. Let's go. New kids on a block. One full hour.
last song, Please Don't Go Girl. That was one of the first songs I've ever watched them perform on TV. That's where I fell in love. I had that little puppy love for Joe McIntyre. Those blue eyes. Those ocean blue eyes. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the music so far. Again, this is one hour of the Kids on the Block on Inspired by Love on Zoom X Radio. Uh, if you like the show so far, I'm actually putting a video together as I'm recording this. So if you want to check that out, you can go to Inspired by Love on Facebook. Or you can go to A Love Productions, April Love Productions, A Love Productions, everywhere else on social media, YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff, TikTok even. Um, but back to new kids on the block. <sighs> Again, it was a dream come true, but I almost didn't even make it through the show. Come to find out, I'm slightly um, afraid of heights, and I was up in the, you know, top tier of Fenway, and the idea to have nothing in front of me to, you know, as a barrier, got me lightheaded and dizzy, and I actually had to move my seat. Luckily, the staff there were at Fenway was... Um, very helpful, and I managed to get a few seats, a few uh, rows back that had a barrier, and I managed to enjoy the show. Again, I cried uh, for it being the first time seeing new kids, and I've been a fan since I was 15, 14. Um, and that show, song, Please Don't Go Girl, at the time when that song was popping, when I was, you know, new. I was, me and a friend of mine were like, let's start a girl band. And what did we do? We took Please Don't Go Girl and turned it into Please Don't Go Boy. We were actually writing up the lyrics and trying to find an instrumental. And I wish I had video of this or even an audio, but we don't. But it was fun. Um, and, you know, I've always been into music and having these guys be from Boston and they're actually one of the reasons why I went to the high school I went to. Because I heard that the uh, producer of the Maurice Style had his studio um, near Madison Park High School in Roxbury. And I was like, I think I'm going to go there. And Madison Park at the time was the only school with a large <coughs> music department. So I was down the street, and you know that that was one of the places that I started learning about music, as well as Zoomix. Uh, Zoomix in high school happened uh, parallel to each other, so I had you know my four, my high school years were filled with nothing but music and creativity and expression, and you know inspiration, and again, New Kids was one of them. Um, and enough of me talking, because I only got a, so much time. I'm going to get into the next set of songs, and I'll be back. Step one, one, one. We can have lots of fun. Step two, two, two. There's so much we can do. Step three, three, three. It's just you and me. Step four, four. I can give you more. Step five. Don't you know that the time is around? <laughs> sound you hit when you turn on your mic take that picture click 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 is this first song I heard in so many years of this band that I filed in my heart 
Oh man. <laughs> From please don't go girl in the right stuff. You told us to hang tough. You said no more games. And you're all about positivity. You had your up and ups and downs and you spread away. And in my heart I always sing, if you go away, boy. But I'm thankful to have you here now. It's always a house party. Always a house party. Always a house party. You hear it now? Ah, yeah. Always a house party. And I'm going to stop it there. Joey, Donnie, Danny, John, Jordan, boys from Boston, Dorchester, Jamaica Plain, this Eastie girl was in tears on August 6th, smiling from ear to ear, dancing to the step by steps, cover girls, rocking out with my little niece who for the first time sees a big Boston band to inspire her creativity as you create inspired mine. I thank you boys from the bottom of my heart. Now let's get back to the party, shall we? We gotta remember yeah. that in the worst of times, we can make the best of times. Positivity is not about being soft, it's about being smart, you sucker. So we're coming to the end of the show. And I just want to say... It was a dream come true getting to see New Kids on the Block live. And it really has sparked my energy, my creative energy. Um, I love these dudes so much. Maybe one day I'll get to meet them. Um, but for now, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that I was able to at the literally like three hours before the show get tickets that I managed to make it through the show once I found out I couldn't be up on that be up high <laughs> um, but guys if you happen to see hear this or see this I've been a fan since I was 15 I'm now 45 I love you guys you've inspired so many especially here in Boston. And I'm proud of all of you, you know, in your individual careers, in your collective career. Um, and you represent Boston like no other. Love you guys. And there's no better way to end this show than with a little thankful. <laughs>